Possibly every morning when you wake up, you go to the bathroom and then you look into the mirror and then you look at yourself. This is what I do and what possibly you do. And you don't even think that it is another person looking at you. It is absolutely clear it is you that you see in the mirror, not another person. But when you were one year old, and you were looking as a young baby into the mirror, you did not know that it is you. This comes later, during our development. We understand with about one and a half years, and maybe even a bit later, that it's me who is in the mirror, not another person. Very young children look into the mirror and say, hi, or they turn to their parents and say, baby, baby, baby. So they think that it's another person. If you will test your cat or your dog, these cats and dogs and many other animals, they don't recognize that it's them in the mirror. They think it's another animal. But that's the animal that is always there. I do not know what your cat thinks, but possibly what your cat will think is, there is always this cat in the living room, and I don't know who, where this cat belongs to, but always when I'm going to the living room, there is this cat. So cats, dogs, most other animals don't recognize themselves in the mirror. But some animals do, as I told you, we humans, but also a few other animals, like, for example, chimpanzees. So how do we know that chimpanzees recognize themselves in the mirror? There is a very simple test, and you possibly have heard about it. You give a chimpanzee the first time a mirror, and the chimpanzee is anxious, looks at that. If that would be the mirror, tries to look behind the mirror, then it makes things like... And after a while, it calms down. It calms down and makes things like... What we do in front of the mirror, but the real test is that you put a little dot on the forehead of the, of the chimpanzee. And then it looks into the mirror and says, so it doesn't do this to scratch off the red dot in the forehead of the other chimpanzee. It touches its own forehead. This is a classic test to know the chimpanzees recognize themselves. Are there any other animals that also do this? Yes. Orangutans can do this. Possibly Asian elephants can do this, although the results are not very clear here. There is a very recent report that some fish even can do this that magpies can do this, so a bird species. And there was an old report that dolphins can do this. But we did not think that, the, I did not think, together with my colleagues, that this dolphin paper was a good one. So we tested dolphins. But how do, we, do you test dolphins? Look, you make the chimpanzee test with pointing, with, with putting a dot on the forehead, and the animal has to scratch. You need hands for this. Dolphins have no hands. How do you test them? We came up with a good idea. I think at least it was a good idea. 
to tell you this good idea, I have to tell you what you have to do with a dolphin on sunny days in the dolphinery nearly every day. You possibly, when you go to a very warm country and you are at the beach, you possibly put cream on you with sun blockers. You have to do the very same with the dolphins. Because under natural conditions, they dive deep into the water where sun can't reach. But in the dolphinaries, they're always at the surface of the water. So they can get sunburns. So what you have to do with dolphins is you have to train the animal that it comes to the edge of the pool and then you take sun blockers and cream the animal with sun blockers. The animals do this nearly every day. We created a sun blocker with a color. So we had two pots, one with the usual sun blocker and the other one with a yellow sun blocker. So the animals were coming to the edge, we were putting on the sun blockers, and then without the animal being able to see it, we took the yellow sun blocker and made a mark around the ear. Then we gave the animals mirrors. And what we saw was the following. Here is the mirror. Now I am the dolphin. And now imagine that the circle is around my right eye. What the animals were doing with this, they were not doing this. They were not doing this. They were doing this. Hmm, that's interesting. Then we took the animals and took a second dolphin and put a mark around the eye of the second dolphin. We wanted to know, is the observing dolphin also doing this when it is seeing the other animal, so that it may mimic the movements of the other animal? No, it did not care. So it really seems that dolphins recognize themselves in the mirror. And then we observed something that was not planned, and that was fantastic. The animals swim to the water surface. Here is the mark. And they do this at the water surface. Because the water surface is a bit reflective. They can see this mark at the water surface. Now this is a fine story. But it doesn't explain why some animals recognize themselves in the mirror and other animals don't. Is it really so that only a handful of animals recognize themselves in the mirror? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I believe that there are three groups of animals on this planet. Some animals really don't recognize anything and they think it's another animal. Some animals, like chimpanzees and humans, recognize themselves in the mirror. But there is a large group in between. They know that this is not another animal. But they don't understand that it's them. How do we test this? We made an experiment, just as an example, with pigeons. We took pigeons and gave them food here. Here is a cup with food. They rush there to get the food. Here is a glass. And behind that glass, there is a second cup of food. And now, from your position, there is another pigeon rushing here. So my pigeon is rushing there I am rushing there, if I am the pigeon. And there is another pigeon coming there, and I want to have that food, and the other animal wants to have this food. And when I'm observing a pigeon, they just go and pack and eat. They don't care of the other animal. 
Now I don't take glass, but a mirror. What the animal here is seeing is a pigeon rushing to the food. It sees itself. Okay, It's practically identical. A pigeon coming to eat that food. But this time, the animal does this. It stares at the mirror and is frightened and comes very slowly close. It's, it's eating, but it's always panically looking into the mirror. But when you do the mark test, pigeons don't pass it. Pigeons seem to understand that this is not another pigeon. This is a strange pigeon. It does the same that I do, but it's not me. Now the interesting thing is, how do pigeons understand, and other animals understand, that this is a strange pigeon, a strange hen, a strange monkey? How do they know that this is something very strange? Do you remember what I told you about the chimpanzee? The chimpanzee in the beginning was panicking, and then it did this. It looks for the correlation of the movement of the other animal and its own movement. This is how children discover that it's them in the mirror. When they have reached the age of about one and a half years or slightly older, they stand again in front of the mirror and they suddenly realize, when I do this, the other boy is also doing this. This is how they understand about the correlation. This is how they understand about, it has to be me. But now think that you can detect the correlation, but you do not have the intelligence to conclude that it is you. Then you are in the middle of where most of the animals are. This is a strange animal. It does everything I do, but I'm not intelligent enough to understand that it's me. And you know, under some neuropsychological conditions, after lesions of the right hemisphere, some humans lose the ability to recognize themselves in the mirror. You know what they say? They say, there is always this man in the wheelchair, who shows up in the bathroom. He is always the same shirt that I am wearing. And he is a very strange guy. He is harmless, but I don't know why he is always in my bathroom. So they lose the ability to recognize themselves, that it's me. But they never lost the ability to recognize the correlation and the similarity. They are drawn back to the stage of many animals that recognize the correlation, but are not able to recognize that it's themselves. So when the next time you go to the bathroom and you look into the mirror, think of all of the other creatures on this planet that do the same as you do without understanding that it's themselves looking into the mirror. But they understand that when you do this waving, then it's the correlation that they detect, and they're frightened of the other animal in the mirror. This is the story of self-recognition, and I say goodbye to you now.